All right, welcome to this lesson on day trading stocks, how to trade trend reversals in three simple steps. This actually applies also for Forex and for futures and E-minis and commodities. So really, if you're trading anything that can be charted, this will pretty much work. And here we go. So three simple steps. So the first thing that we're looking for is a trend because we're trading a trend reversal. So we've got here we've got the market moving up. We're looking at Disney two minute stock here, two minute chart. So very fast chart. This is for, um, you know, just doing quick little day trading with a pretty large size in order to make some money. All right. And uh, then here are the keys. So we get a high and then we get another high. Notice our cycle highs here. By the way, if you're interested in my cycle indicator, I've got a free webinar. Well, I'll give that away for you. I'll just send me an email at barry at topdogtrading.com and I'll be happy to invite you to the next live webinar. Since this is a recorded video, can't really tell you when it is on the recording. Depending on when you respond to me, I'll tell you when the next one is going to be. Now, here's the key. All right. We are looking for a momentum shift. So what we want to look for at the end of trends is the trend getting weaker and we use a momentum indicator for that. So here you see that price has still gone up a little bit, making a little bit of a higher high, but on the momentum indicator, it's making a lower high. Now this is a 14 period momentum indicator. This is actually the indicator called momentum on your charts and I've got it set to 14 periods. So uh, that's the thing right there. And that means that strength is coming out of the market. So yes, price is still going up. And even during this little period here, the price is still going up, but the momentum has come down as we see from that high to that high. Momentum will often lead price. Not always, not always. Nothing always leads the market. There's no such thing as an indicator that always leads. And by the way, trends don't always end this way. Sometimes they end with very high um, velocity moving up and then they turn right around and come down. So don't expect that this will happen with every trend, but we wait for those where it does occur and then we trade those. So you'll get V bottoms, V tops where this doesn't occur. And of course, then this strategy deal doesn't apply, but we're not trying to catch every change in the market. We're just trying to catch some enough that we can make some money. All right, let me show you an example from the other side. So that was a short. Now here's a long trade. So we've got the market moving down, it comes down to, by the way, the other thing you want to look for is support resistance. I forgot to mention that. So here we have yesterday's close, yesterday's low. We've got, uh, those are just the horizontal lows from those two. So really this is the zone that we're looking at. And the market comes into that support resistance zone. In this case, it's support. And all right, so we put in a cycle low. And where is momentum? Momentum goes all the way down to here. All right, let's we'll try to, well, can't get it quite down there because it goes off the bottom of the, the video. Now, where's the next low? So the next low comes in back into that same zone between yesterday's close and yesterday's low. But look where momentum is this time. So again, as you can see, there's a momentum shift. And momentum is not as strong coming down the second time into the second low as it was into the first one. And again, this is how trends will often end with less strength coming down into that support. So one of the rules of support resistance is that in order to break through them, we need to have a lot of energy, a lot of momentum, a lot of acceleration, a lot of volume, all these kind of things play into, uh, play into it. But here we have a higher loan momentum, meaning that the move down here is not as strong as it was down there. Therefore, uh, and then we look for, again, we gotta have, that's not quite enough. We've gotta have a momentum shift. There's our cycle low. And that's a very good cycle low pattern on the indicator. I teach you how to read these, uh, the patterns that will be reliable cycle highs, reliable cycle lows, because otherwise the indicator can stay down here for quite a while and really doesn't mean anything. So I show you which ones are reliable signals in that um, webinar that I do periodically. The key is then reaching a resistance level. Again, we have a resistance level up here, and that is a pivot level, R1, resistance level one, floor trader pivot, and then less strength going into it. So strength coming out of the market, 
meaning that it's no longer a strong move. I often ask people in my seminars, what are two types of trends? And the answer is inevitably always uh, uptrend and downtrend. And that's a correct answer, but another correct answer would be strong trend and weak trend. And very few people even have that in their mind, even on their radar. They even Very few, few people even consider that. Well, if you're not even thinking whether a trend is strong or weak, you've got a problem. You're going to have a hard time making money. So when we trade with a trend, we only want to trade strong trends. When we're looking for trend reversals, in other words, going short after a trend's already been established, then we are looking for weak trends. Remember, the trend is your friend until the end. We're waiting for the end to fade the trend. And our best indication of whether that trend is going to end is right there, momentum. Momentum's come out. It's no longer strong. It's now weak. And down she goes. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're watching this on YouTube, please click the thumbs up icon below and leave a comment telling me what you liked about this video and what you'd like me to cover in future videos. Also, I'm giving away one of my very favorite trade strategies. It's called the rubber band trade. It has an extremely high win-loss ratio. This is a good one. Give it to you absolutely free. You can learn it in about 26 short minutes. It's very simple. So get that video explaining that trade strategy by clicking on the image in the top left corner, or if you're on a mobile device, click on the little I with the circle around it in the top right hand corner, and I will personally email that video to you absolutely free.